Good evening to our classmates. I'm going to develop the oral activity for this final step. And here we go. Uh, when you were born, you were not able to communicate with adults around you. But using language. By using language. But by the time you were five or six, you were able to produce sentences, make jokes, ask questions, and so on. In short, you have you had become a fluent native speaker. During those first few years of of your life, you accumulate accumulated a wide range of knowledge about at least one language, probably with very little conscious effort. If you studied a foreign language later on, it's likely that you discovered that it was not nearly as easy. Okay, the second part, and I have to read minimal pairs so here we go set sit desk disc wet wait bat bot so so not note bat bet Fast, first. Desk, disc. Very, very. Buy, pie. Thin, thing. Life, rife. Catch, cat. See, she. Fan, van, fat, hot, free, three, sink, thing, with, whiz, page, base, bat, batch, fast, past, came, Gain to do back back M and hat hat. Okay, the third part intonation statements with one stress. I know we laughed, it stopped. Statements with two stresses. Anna works. Time flies. Lena is my daughter. Statements with three stresses. Peter doesn't live here. Lena wasn't invited. Bats are not birds. Bats are not birds. Statements with four stresses. She wants to buy a new car. He wrote the letters very quickly. The teacher told her students told her students a story. The teacher told her students a story. Statements with five stresses. Maria wants to buy a new car. My friends play tennis every Saturday. I think the first question is very easy. Special questions, following intonation. What is his name? Where does he live? When did you call him? Friendly, interest, politeness, rising intonation. Where have you been? What, what are you reading? When is your birthday? General questions, rising intonations. Do you visit them often? Have you seen my kids? Are you ready to start? Request rising intonation. Could you give me a pen, please? Could you open the window, please? Would you mind helping me? 
alternative questions rising and falling intonation. Do you want coffee or tea? Does he speak English or German? Would you like coffee or tea? Town questions falling rising intonation. It's a beautiful town, isn't it? She knows him, doesn't she? Nice weather, isn't it? Comments, falling intonation. Stop it, sit down. Cl close your notebooks. Close your books. Tell me the truth. Request, rising intonation. Come in, please. Come here, please. Sit down, please. Explanatory sentences, falling intonation. What a, what a wonderful present. How beautiful her voice is. That's a lie. Direct address. Rising intonation. Peter, can you help me? Mr. Smith, this is Mary Brown. This is Mary Brown. Mr. Smith, this is Mary Brown. Ella, can you help me? Enumerating rising intonation. One, two, three, four, five. She bought bread, cheese, orange, and apples. I saw Tom, Mary, Anna, and Victor. Responses. Certainly. Of course. You're welcome. Well, this was the, the oral activity. And thank you so much for watching. And I hope we can finish uh, our collaborative uh, project very soon. Goodbye.